friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you. A healthy breakfast, healthy lunch, and a sweet treat that is absolutely incredible. Wait until you hear points and calories on these recipes, you're not going to believe it. So if you are excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in that description box, I will link my recipe website so you can find all three of today's recipes. You're also going to find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories so you know where you should fall every day to reach your goals into the new year. You can also chat with me directly with one-on-one one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things. And lastly, head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to this week's meal prep. breakfast this week, I am making turkey and egg breakfast muffins. These are going to be packed with all the good things, protein, healthy fats, veggies, great way to kick off your morning. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some baby spinach, some eggs, salt, pepper, paprika. I'm using light shredded cheese, turkey meat, chives, and a bell pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up some chives, my bell pepper, and I'm going to rough chop some spinach. I have a bowl here. I'm just going to pop everything into here because it all goes into our recipe at once. my muffin tin with some nonstick cooking spray. I am only making eight, six of the egg cups just so they don't sit in my fridge too long. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with my deli turkey here and I'm going to line each one of my little muffin cups with a slice of the deli turkey. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want a well in the middle so that you can add your egg and your veggies. Into a medium size bowl, I'm going to crack in six eggs. Now we're going to add in the spinach, bell peppers, and chives. One half of a cup of shredded cheese, salt and pepper, and about a tablespoon of paprika. Go ahead and whisk that together. Get those veggies and seasonings mixed in with the eggs. I'm going to use the medium sized scoop out of my cookie scoop pack. I did buy this off of Amazon, so I'll make sure that it's linked down below for you. And I'm just going to start adding that egg and veggie mixture into the middle of the slices of turkey. Here are the turkey and egg muffins. These look amazing. These are going into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until the egg is cooked completely through. So our egg cups are kind of one big egg cup. Not a problem though. I'll just go ahead and slice these once they're cooled. We'll package them up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here are the finished egg cups. These actually look better than I thought that they were going to look. I'm really excited for these, just packed with protein and veggies. These are only one point per egg cup and 153 calories. Don't forget when you click the recipe on my website, it will automatically recalculate these into your points. In the event that you don't have eggs for zero points, these will have points for you, but it will do all of that for you on my website. So I'm excited to have these as part of my healthy breakfast for the week. For my lunches this week, I'm making turkey, zucchini, 
meatballs. I love meatballs. You guys know that. I have some no sugar added Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce to pair with these. And then I will most likely pop on a side of vegetables and some fruit. So let me show you what's in the meatballs. And by the way, this is a pretty simple recipe to make. So I have a pound of 99% ground turkey, some fresh Parmesan cheese, crushed red pepper flakes, one egg, one onion, a couple of small to medium sized zucchinis, and some salt and pepper. What I'm going to do first with a cheese grater is I'm going to grate half of a cup of onion and I'm going to grate a total of one cup of zucchini. I don't know if I'll end up using both of these, but I wash them, they're ready to go. So you're just going to take a grater and grate your onion and zucchini. to take the onion and the zucchini and I'm going to put them on the paper towel and I'm going to squeeze out as much liquid as I can get out of the onions and then I'll just place them back into the same bowl. We're ready to start assembling the meatballs. So I have my pound of 99% ground turkey. I'm going to add in my onion, my zucchini, half of a cup of Parmesan cheese, red pepper flakes. I'm doing a very, very small amount. You guys know that I do not like my food super, super spicy. And then one egg, salt and pepper. The original recipe also calls for a half of a cup of breadcrumbs, but I'm not supposed to be having breadcrumbs, so I'm just omitting those. The eggs should be plenty to bind them together, but I will include the breadcrumbs on my recipe website in case you want to add them to your meatballs. Now I'm going to dig in with my hands. This is probably the most unpleasant part about making meatballs or meatloaf or even hamburgers is getting in with your hands and just mixing everything together really, really well. Now with another one of the scoops in that same Amazon pack, I'm going to scoop out my meatball into my hand and then I'm just going to roll it into a ball, put it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I am preheating my oven to 400 degrees as well. Here are the meatballs. These look so good. I'm putting these into my 450 degree oven for about 18 to 20 minutes or until the meatballs are cooked all the way through. One great thing about adding zucchini to your meatballs is you can't taste it once it's cooked it adds a lot of vegetables but it also adds a lot of moisture especially because we're using a super lean cut of meat the zucchini will add back in a lot of the moisture so let's get these in the oven I just pulled out the meatballs and these look so good I can smell the Parmesan cheese I can smell that in the meatballs which is so yummy so let me go ahead and allow these to cool for a couple of minutes I'll package them up for storage for the week and we'll go over points and calories so here are the finished meatballs. The recipe makes only six servings. So you end up getting about three meatballs per serving. And these are pretty good sized meatballs. It is three points and 148 calories. And it is just packed with protein. Again, once you click the recipe on my website, it'll recalculate everything into your points. But this is going to be such a great start to my lunches for the week. I'll definitely pair it with a vegetable and then maybe some fruit on the side or maybe a side salad. It'll just be a great option to start off my lunches. <laughs> sweet treat my husband is excited about. I am making churro cheesecake bars. These are super easy to make. There's a theme of today's meal prep and that is that all of these recipes are healthy and easy. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need sweetener of your choice. As always, I'm using my Lakanto monk fruit. I really like this sweetener. There's no cooling effect or aftertaste and it is zero points on the new WW personal points plan. And a lot of the other sweeteners have points. So I love it. I'll link Lakanto down below with a 15% off discount for you. You're also going to need vanilla extract, lots and lots of cinnamon, a two pack of Pillsbury crescent rolls, one egg, and one third less fat cream cheese. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is mix one half of a cup of my Lakanto with lots and lots of cinnamon. I'm creating basically that cinnamon and sugar mixture and then we will set this aside. Into my bowl here, I added my two packages of softened one third less fat cream cheese. I am going to mix these together until smooth. Now we're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half of a cup of Lakanto, and one egg. And then we're going to beat this until smooth. We're going to sprinkle half of that cinnamon and sugar mixture right into the bottom of our sprayed 9 by 13 baking dish. Now we're going to take the crescent rolls. We want to keep them together the best that we can. So go ahead and unroll the crescent roll sheet. And then we're going to place that in the bottom of the baking dish right over the cinnamon and sugar. And I'm going to kind of just pinch these perforated sections together because we do want to keep this as one whole sheet. I'm pressing this right into the corners and around all of the edges of the baking dish. Now I'm going to take my cream cheese mixture and I'm just going to spread that right over the top of that layer of crescent rolls. We're going to unroll the second sheet of crescent rolls. Do that same thing where we roll it out as closely to keeping it together as possible. And then we're going to lay this right over the top of the cream cheese mixture. And again, we'll pinch the perforated pieces together and spread this out towards the edges. And lastly, we're going to sprinkle the remaining brown sugar cinnamon mixture right over the top. Oh my gosh, Troy is going to be in heaven with these bars. This is going to make a lot. I'll probably end up taking a few of these to my real estate office. I'm not sure that he'll be able to eat all of these himself. Look at how delicious these look. I mean, really? These are going into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes or until they're light brown. Churro cheesecake bars are out of the oven. Um, look at how amazing these look. Look at those layers of the crescent rolls and the cream cheese filling and that delicious cinnamon sugar topping. I already know Troy is going to be super, super excited. So again, this, this pan here makes 15 servings. It is seven points per it is seven points per serving, 226 calories. I did do some quick math that if you cut this into 24 pieces, they would be five points per serving. So it just depends on how many points you want to spend, but it's only 226 calories for dessert, which is not bad at all. I can't wait to show him these churro cheesecake bars when he gets home tonight. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for all three of today's recipes. Don't forget you can find these on my recipe website. I will make sure that is in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you all in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Bye.